Hello, Junior Achievement. My name is Jason Burrett, and I am thrilled to be a part of the video series and also very happy to be joining you from AMN Healthcare. There's a group of us here at AMN Healthcare that are excited to work with Junior Achievement as a part of these career video series. I'll do a quick introduction of myself, but I know right away it's less about me and more about the nuggets of career wisdom, perhaps, or some tips and tricks. And so I'll try to do this video in a manner of answering some questions I think I would ask if someone were in a classroom or just had the chance to have a conversation with you. I do have to start by saying I love Junior Achievement, and it was almost 30 years ago, actually, in a Houston, Texas classroom. I was starting off my healthcare career in hospitals at the time, and I joined the Junior Achievement Program because I just love teaching, coaching, and working with youth, especially. And now, thinking across all the years that have occurred since then, and all the experiences, hopefully I'll have a few nuggets that might be helpful. So again, I'm coming to you from AMN Healthcare. Uh, my title and role right now is called uh, VP or Vice President of Strategic Engagements. That might sound good, but what does it really mean? Well, I have the pleasure of working with some of the nation's largest health systems and being a partner in representing AMN Healthcare to them. And I am responsible for growing our business, but doing so in a way that's very much a partnership and very much a value added type of um, relationship. And essentially, hospitals, as you know, face a lot of challenges and they're always in need of additional leaders. So very specifically, my job is to make sure that they, they the hospitals and healthcare systems, trust us to help them when they need leaders. If there's an opening for a chief executive officer, for example, or a director of a certain department or a manager, we help them place leaders, both interim and we do permanent search to find those leaders. And we have a wonderful team of people and experts that do that. Now myself, I have spent almost 30 years in healthcare in a whole bunch of various type of roles. And with that, I wanna start really with a the theme of today, which is as you consider career paths and what you wanna do with your life or what you wanna do when you grow up, Number one, and most important for the theme of the day, I'd say be an explorer. Be an explorer in the sense of how you approach your career, how you approach your life, your interests. And what does that mean, be an explorer? To me, it means don't be afraid to step forward. Everything successful is about action. So don't be afraid to trust yourself. Listen to your heart, actually. What, what is it that drives you? What is it that interests you? And don't be afraid, even if you don't have the answers, to step forward and take some action. Be a team player, of course be respectful, of course add value, but trust yourself too. And don't put your, yourself aside, but follow that part of yours and be inquisitive and go step by step after the things that drive you. So if a question was, what's cool about my career in business, in healthcare, there's a lot of great things, and I am very fortunate to have worked in a number of healthcare-related companies. Everything from executives of hospitals to healthcare IT companies that are helping shape and add value to healthcare by the computer systems in use, for example, or the information technology systems in use. And then, of course, most recently, being a part of AMN Healthcare, where we, again, partner to provide any type of workforce need that a hospital or health system might, might have at the moment. Very specifically, I'm on the leadership side of that though, in working with our teams to, to place great leaders, whether interim or permanent. That allows me also to travel. And to me, that's an important because it keeps me very interested. I love learning. I love meeting with people that are clients, especially and adding that value. And I grew up actually a son of, a, of an army officer. So traveling has always been a big part of my life. And if you like to explore um, physically too, and see new places and meet new people and always learn from the diversity of this amazing country, then this is also a wonderful job for me from that perspective. But really my whole career has, has also had a, a, an element of travel. Even for example, working for a healthcare IT company and being trusted to go open an office in Ireland, which I did, took my young kids at the time, 
And, and that was really just a fortunate experience because I tried something new. And I worked hard, of course, and trusted myself to learn something new and respected the experts to learn very quickly and was trusted to go open this new office up, which was a wonderful experience. Um, and that's one of a number of examples to where I can actually link back, again, less about me, but more about the fact that if you trust yourself and you keep learning, you'll have experiences and opportunities open up that you would never have planned or even expected. So let's, let's assume there's a question out there of, uh, do I need to know what I want to become? Or there seems to be people that, that know what they want to do, but I, I don't yet. Guess what? That's okay. That's absolutely okay. I still want to do a number of things. And I think there's part of the trick is it's absolutely okay to want to do a number of things. There are a few people that know exactly they want to be a pilot or they want to be a certain type of doctor or a teacher or anything. And that's wonderful for those people. There's even more people, I would let you know, and I firmly believe, that want to do a whole bunch of different things. Sometimes it's easy to get lost into the thought that I don't know what I want to do, but really that's many cases because you want to do a lot of different things, and that's okay. So I would certainly also share that, use that as a strength, and use that to your benefit. For me personally, one thing I decided quickly when I was in college, I was a student athlete, and as those days were ending, I realized what I was lacking, in my case it was a business background, so I, I personally jumped into getting a master's degree very quickly. It was a little bit of a risk, um, both financially and of course just because um, it was a new field for me, but I did it and I'm so happy I took that jump and that risk. And that was really part of my own exploring. I love to learn, I love to try new things, and taking that step was really a springboard to open up again a whole bunch of new doors that I never would have had open up if I didn't take that jump or that risk. So I mentioned it's okay to have many interests, and I, I firmly, firmly believe that. Get excited about that. Get excited about learning. And another theme through my own life as I think through the experiences I've had is it, it takes a lot of new learning, but that's fun. And it keeps, it keeps the day moving, the week, the month, and years fly by because it's exciting to always be learning new things and to be putting that new knowledge to use. And then if you feel like you're providing value, in my case with healthcare leaders, in facing the problems, in delivering outstanding healthcare, uh, if we're playing a part in providing value there, that's a wonderful thing. And so that makes, that, that makes me happy and, and engaged. But the key is, it's not about me, but it comes down to the fact that I can link that to the things that drive me. And again, that be an explorer type mode. So another question, um, is there a secret? Is there a secret to having a successful career? That's a broad question, of course, but I do think, as I think through this, um, I've, I also love coaching. I love sports, of course, um, being a, a former athlete in college. And I think back to the days I coached my own kids, and there was something I took from other coaches that I absolutely loved, and that is, Think about the things you can control. There's so much noise out there. There's so many distractions. But what can you control? And there's three things that people have boiled down and agreed that are really within anyone's control. And that's attitude, effort, and your decision. So no matter what happens, whether it's on a court or in life or in a job, you controlling your attitude, your effort, and your own decisions, those three things are absolutely under your control. You make the call, regardless of what your position, title, role, job is, those are up to you. And I think through those and add on, if you're listening to your heart and your passions, what you're passionate about, what drives you, and you're always seeking out those type of things, number one, that'll keep your attitude really fresh and strong and positive. It'll add strength to your efforts and of course allow you to make decisions that really support who you are and not just what other people want from you. So I think, to me, that's a very general answer, but attitude, effort, and decisions in terms of what you control are a big part of the secret of success, regardless of what type of job you take. 
or what you want to do. As we all know, we get one life, and it does go very quickly. And I think back again to the time I was uh, in the Junior Achievement Classroom over 30 years ago. Um, the experiences you can gain by trying new things, you'll never regret. And that's something I'm very happy to say. I learned a lot of lessons. It hasn't always been easy. There's always challenges. But as I think through in terms of the three things you can control, and always taking steps towards a new challenge or learning something new. Um, of course, having fun along the way. But even when there's a challenge, facing it with an attitude of exploring and taking something new on and learning something new has always served me extremely, extremely well. Getting out of your comfort zone is certainly another way I would look at it. It's easy to think that in terms of career planning, you have to pick a path you have to stay on that path. Well, this in this day and age more than ever, especially with the tools around the technology that supports us, learning will need to occur at faster and faster rates. And it, it, it's easy these days. There's so much information available at our fingertips. So if you're always learning and you're always discovering and you put that Explorer hat on, regardless of what you're doing in your career, without a doubt, you will learn a ton more than you ever would if you put some, some, uh, some covers on and didn't look beyond a certain type of position. Think broadly, be inquisitive, have lots of energy and enthusiasm, respect others of course, be a great team player, but explore. That's the bottom line that I look back on my career and I'm very thankful for the experiences, both good and bad and realized that I took some risky jumps here and there. I had some challenges, but all in all, I've, it's been a wonderful career so far. And a lot of that is because I was less interested in just a title or locking myself in one type of position forever. I was more interested in adding value, learning, and exploring new things. So I hope that's been a little bit helpful today. Um, Again, just congratulations as part of being junior, uh, being a part of Junior Achievement. It's a wonderful program. Take full advantage of the resources available to you. And I hope this little video provided some help to anyone that might wonder what some of the broader themes of a, of a successful career might be uh, from this person who's calling you from Kansas. Thank you very much and take great care.